it tonight. Friday Night Smackdown on Fox is presented by Progressive. And it's time now for some happy talk. This, this was supposed to be the happiest happy talk ever. We're supposed to be reveling in my victory over Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania right now. Is this a go rats? Is this? Now, now at these low points, that's when you figure out what kind of man you are. I've been doing a lot of self-reflecting. This week when I was on my yacht, I looked out over the horizon and I had an honest conversation with myself. I looked at what type of man I am and what type of man I've become. Okay, this is good. And I'm ready to admit that there is only one person to blame for this loss to Drew. And that man is Madcap Moss. Oh. Never in a million years would I have lost to Drew if you hadn't climbed on the apron and distracted me. I, I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm really sorry, man. I was just, I just felt so excited Look, for you. I don't You're... care how you felt. It's not about your feelings. Look, somehow you managed to take WrestleMania weekend and make it all about you. About you winning the Andre the Giant Battle Royal Trophy. Oh yeah, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. I finally won something. I'm kissing my trophy. See, this is the problem. I think you're getting too big for your suspenders and you've forgotten your place. It's to tell me a joke. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I... Okay, yeah, 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 no, no, I got one. I got one, I got one, I got one. What do you call me when I'm such a bonehead that I cost you a match? Madcap lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Tell me another one. Uh, okay, no, no, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. It just came to me. Uh, what would you call Adam Pierce if he ran a brothel? Madam Pierce. <laughs> That one sucked too. Whoa. I can't believe this. You should be ashamed of yourself. I bring you to SmackDown. I give you opportunities to make me laugh, to tell me funny jokes. And lately, all of your jokes, they've been terrible. So I'm going to give you another chance. Tell me a joke. Tell me a funny joke. Tell me a joke like your job depends on it. Because it does. Okay, yeah. What do you call a guy who treats his friends like garbage? who thinks he's better than everybody else. A guy who dresses like he's going to a funeral for Tommy Bahama. <laughs> you call him Happy Corbin. He's gonna stand up. That's him. funny, you really think that's funny? Do all of you in here think that is funny? Attacking Moss from behind and a stomping.
Mad Cat Moss. Pure jealousy oozing through unhappy Corbin's veins right now. Mad Moss fighting back. Mad Cat Moss fighting back against his ex-boss. And Corbin. Envious Corbin getting thrown around by the powerhouse. Oh, and Moss. And Corbin trying to get out of there. Now he's caught up in the, in the rope. And look at Moss go. Mad Cap a bouncer right now. And Corbin trying to get out of harm's way. And here comes Moss. And Corbin fighting back as well. Moss driven into the barricade. Right in front of the mayor over there. Oh, this is... Look at me, he's on that trophy. Remember where you came from. And now Corbin driven off the announce table as Moss turns things around. And now Matt Cat Moss. Okay. Anger in his eyes. Okay. Hey. I mean, this has got to feel good for Matt Cat Moss. Pat, you got to believe he's been holding this inside for a long time. This feels good for all of us. Because of his treatment by Corbin. Mad Cat having to be a song and dance act for Happy Corbin. And Corbin now caught up in a, the congratulations balloons, and Mad Cat Moss relentless in his attack. <laughs> Corbin coming in there tonight looking to blame everyone else for his failures, including that man, Mad Cat Moss, and Mad Cat Moss has had enough. You gotta think Mad Cat's screaming. The jubilation because he senses a little bit of freedom. Oh. He's throwing the happy talk set out of the ring. Happy Corbin, uh, he brought this upon himself. There's no doubt about that. Madcap saying, I'm done with this stupid stuff. A freeing moment. Oh, he stopped on his head. He stopped on his head. Rather symbolic. Damn right. <laughs> Like a javelin in there, yep. Corbin is, can't believe what's happened to him over the past seven days. Oh, unhappy. 